hi everyone today let's try to solve another problem on isometric projections so we have the question in this way the following figure shows the front and side views of the solid draw the isometric projections so they are given as the front view and the side view so here if you see from the front view so we have a 15 mm height and a 60 mm rectangle rectangular uh, cuboid and here on the left also the same way but this 15 mm has a width of 25 mm whereas this particular has a width of 45 mm so it's look like an L but here in the middle the width is bit less so now let's try to solve it so first what I'm going to do is I'll draw this 15 mm 15 into 60 this particular part and it has a thickness of 25 mm so we'll do that part so I'll take the line a normal line first so we'll draw the x y sorry the normal plane normal uh, reference plane actually so we'll change the line so we have here in the question 15 mm height right and 25 mm okay so we'll finish with that part actually first so here we have 15 mm okay and width is 25 and angle is 150 50 and we'll place it here and here it completes it okay so this part is actually complete the front portion now it has a length of 60 mm okay so we'll move that part also so from here we'll take a length of 60 mm and we'll specify it as 30 and height we have it as 15 itself and that will connect till here and here from here we have the width as 25 and we'll specify it as 150 and we'll complete this part also so the bottom portion is complete actually so now if you see here we have a distance of 10 mm to the outside region so that is from here okay so we'll project that 10 mm outside okay from here it is 10 and the angle is minus 30 we have only minus 30 and 150 degree so other than that angles we don't find any angles so a height of 50, 60 and a thickness of 15 so I have a height of sorry I have a height of 60 thickness is 15 height of 60 okay and from there I have a thickness of 15 30 from there itself again a 60 and from here till here I can join it blindly so now what is the thickness that we have okay we have it as 45 okay I'll specify it as 45 and 150 okay so 15 we have and 30 and this portion gets completed and from here till here was this particular line joins here itself so and it will be invisible and once we have done we'll measure the angles we have 30 over there and we have 30 over here so once you have done with this make sure you select it and scale it that is 0 0.816 and place it here so once done make sure you save the file and then you can close it